hey party people so it's currently Saturday and what I'm about to go do is go grab coffee with Lexi as well as a subscriber named Zoe and Nev but she's changing in there um, and if you're wondering why my eyes are kind of puffy I just had you know kind of an annoying I guess phone call with my parents I was telling you guys that I had another apartment tour the day after I vlogged so I didn't vlog the whole experience or even talk about it but I found what I believed to be the apartment that I wanted but I applied for it and that cost money to do that and I put a holding deposit on it and that obviously cost money as well and then my parents were like ah. I don't know like they just basically don't approve and they don't think that the area is safe enough and they want me to keep looking at places so I was just really annoyed and crying about it so yeah that's my current issue but today's exciting because I'm going to get coffee with um, Zoe who I met originally at playlist live at a meetup that I had with Emily and Alex and Lexi and so that's gonna be super fun that we're all you know me well me and Lexi and her are reuniting to get coffee and she's gonna get to meet Nev and it's just gonna be so fun and then after that we're um, um, you know gonna go to the trading post with Scarlett Turner so you know there's a really a lot going on today so I'll just keep you in the loop just you guys are coming with it's gonna be super great also Nevin is here in the flesh and she's wearing my dress <laughs> holy shit <laughs> how's Stop your day people. this morning I woke up at 8 o'clock <laughs> And, then, and I woke up at 11. I was literally, I was just out there like on my computer. I didn't want to be in here and wake you up, but yeah. Thanks. You know, just getting in my Z's. TBT to our sleepovers back in Georgia because she would do the same thing. She would, sometimes you would just leave in the mornings. You would just be like, I'm not even, I'm just going to go home. I'm just going to go. I just didn't know what to do. I believe I can fly. So I just got to Alfred and my baby Zoe's here. How are you? I'm good. Did you have some nice travels in? Yeah, it was nice? great. It was great. And her parents are here as well. Hi guys. Hi. So I have a nice sunflower gift and she gave me this as well. It says you are my sunshine. I can't get over this, man. I mean, this is great. Oh, I'm so happy to be with her. Oh, I'm so happy to be with you. <laughs> Zoe got us both things and Megan's gonna open it up. This is what it is. Oh. For teas and such, teas and coffees and such. My baby. She's so sweet. <laughs> oh, I could just pinch your cheeks the entire we time I'm with you. We can send photos of us drinking various drinks. Squirtle had to get some shade, so he really left us, left us hanging. We think that he came over here to meet his girlfriend. Hi, Coda. Hi. We went to the trading post and I didn't even show it to you because he really couldn't handle it. And <laughs> now he's eating some cheese and retiring. But Scarlett's here. Hi. Hey, girlfriend. Hey. <laughs> and Nev's just, you know, cheese munching over here. But yeah, I don't know why I keep bringing my dog to the trading post because every single time, every shop I go into or like little vendor, he goes into the shade and just tries to like retire under there. So after a while, I was just like, I just, we need to take him home. He just can't handle it. Yeah, he can't handle the heat. Da 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 da, do 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 do. Squirt, you want some? Well, you can't have it. Ha ha. We got a pizza and I am so excited, more excited than Scarlett. Yes. <laughs> I doubt it. Yes. Okay, so embarrassing story time. I just tried to take this stupid little squirt out and we get to um, almost the elevator and then <laughs> This girl who I've totally met before who's kind of scared of Squirtle and like I just know that she like hates him or hates dogs in general She was sitting at the bench in front of my elevator and he stopped right in front of it and just like peed next to her foot Like not on her but just like right next to her and she was like uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, like I'm so sorry. And like I tried to pick him up and he wouldn't stop. And I was just like, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. And so I was like, well, I'm gonna go get stuff to clean this up. And then I literally just walked back to clean it up and she was gone. And I was like, oh, I'm getting really blinded by the lights and shadows right now. But hey, my friend Sammy's here. Hey guys. Hey girl, how's it going? Good. Sammy is one of my really old dance friends. I don't know if I've ever vlogged with her before. I don't really think so. I don't think so. I was so. in your Coachella thing. Yes. But that's it. We went to Coachella, not this past time, but the one before that. And yeah, she's out here. I'm out here. We're all just hanging out, you know? We out here. Being teens, we out here. Je ne parle pas français. Hi, 
You're so cute. She has a popsicle. That's why he's yelling at her. <laughs> Go get her. Trying to get that food piece that's jammed behind there. You got it! Yes! Victory for Squirtle! Oh yeah! We're having a slumber party, right? Rock on! We're gonna watch The Den, possibly. I don't know, I've already seen this before. It's a scary movie about this girl whose like webcam is just really um, effed up, you know? Squirrel's excited. Let's do it! Hey, so it's like 1.30 in the morning right now, and I came out here to talk to you guys because Nevin's asleep and I don't wanna wake her up. I don't know, I just go to you guys when I need people to talk to, you know, so I just did that. So this morning I briefly was telling you guys about how I like had this FaceTime call with my parents. It was mostly my dad. My mom only like popped her head in at one second then realized that I was crying and left, so whatever. But basically, aside from him saying that he doesn't want me to live in the place that I found, um, he was like, I just wanna know your plan. Like, it's been a year since you moved out to LA. Like, what's your plan? And like, I've told you guys my plan before and I've told them my plan before and like what I wanna do with my life, but I just like don't know why I keep having to like reiterate it to them. Like my parents I really want me to go to school and I really don't want to, you know? And not even just being like a rebellious teen, being like, oh no, I don't wanna go to school. Like I have no interest in going. I don't know, I was just like walking Squirtle and started crying. I don't wanna like disappoint anybody or feel like I'm like a failure to anybody just because like I'm not going to school, you know? Just the way that he like talks sometimes, just like, he just like, acts like he like doesn't get it, like doesn't get what I'm doing. He was like, yeah, I get it. Like you're working on merch right now, but you told me that like when I visited you like four weeks ago. And I was just like, it's not a next day thing, you know? I guess it's just frustrating having to like make other ends meet before I can make my end goal, if that makes sense. Like I'm with a network called The Collective and they are like helping me with my merch and stuff like that, but they have to find a company to help me. And they haven't even had the call with the company yet. Like it's happening this week. I sent in my first design, but like we're just now getting started with my merch. I don't know, I just feel like my parents don't understand because like I've never done anything like this. They've never dealt with anything like this. So they're like, I don't know, why aren't more things happening in your life, you know? And I'm just like, why do you keep pressuring me to make things happen in my life? Does this make any sense? Do any of you understand where I'm coming from? Please leave me comments down below because I would love to just like know that somebody out there like understands what I'm dealing with. I don't know, like, yes, I moved out, but I just feel so like held down by my parents still sometimes. I know that they care about me and the only reason why they're like doing these things and saying these things is because they care about me. But at the same time, it's like, I feel like they don't treat Lindsay like this. They don't treat my brother like this. It's just really frustrating when you're the only one in your family not following what everybody else is doing, if that makes sense, because they have nothing to base it off of. I just wanted to have a little vent sesh. Um, like I said, Nevin went to sleep, so I can't talk to her, but what can you do? But yeah, we attempted to watch this scary movie, and I've already seen that movie before, and I just remembered how fucked up it was, so I just made us turn it off, and I was like, let's watch something different. Let's watch United States of Terra, because I love that show, and it's really funny. So that kind of turned my mood around. So yeah, that was our night. I hope you enjoyed seeing our day and such as well. I'm just really happy Nev's in town, especially when Lindsay's out of town. It's nice having somebody else here other than my dog to talk to. <laughs> By the way, if you realized I can continued vlogging into August because I didn't want Sister Summer to end. So just give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it and you're happy that Sister Summer is continuing because I just really like vlogging every other day and so I will continue doing that. Okay, toodaloo. I'll talk to you guys when I talk to you. Stay smiling. Bye. Parents just don't understand.